Today I have the witch. But not just any witch, this is a puppet witch. It's a lot like Bobby's trains, but it's much smaller and much, much, much cheaper. You might be wondering why I'm in the garage again. That is because I'm planning on doing a comparison video between this and Bobby Strings, and I do not want to try and fit Bobby Strings back into that basement again. But if you couldn't tell, I like puppets. So I think that for $100, this is probably one of the most worth it things of this year, but I guess we'll find out. Let's open this bad boy. Okay, cardboard. Right off the bat, you can see everything. Here it is. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not sure what to pull up first. Okay, it's the puppet, it's the puppet. There it is. <laughs> it's all one piece since it's small enough to be like that. Totally limp noodle arms. They're just held together by strings. And I'm gonna have to sit her. And for now, I'm just gonna sit her right here. There we go, beautiful. More cardboard, love it. And wow, this is a good cross. Look at that. <laughs> Very weirdly built. It's got its sensor right here. And wait, this is the control box. It's got all the controls right here. That is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. We've got a bunch of poles. What I love about this is that they look like they're made of wood. Like, oh my goodness, that's something that Bobby should have done. We've got its adapter and um, instructions, useless to us. Last piece of cardboard and its base. Let me just put this box aside while we put this thing together. Okay, time to figure this out. It can't be too hard. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Oh, it just clicked in my head. These weird kind of uh, clip things are probably for the adapter. So it can just kind of follow down the back. That is great. Now this says optional support extension. So it's just like if you want it to be taller, you could just add this. And of course, we're gonna make it taller, cause why not? Bigger is better. Okay, so far, look at this. It is leaning so far backwards. Hopefully when the witch is attached, this kind of like adds a huge counterbalance and it'll be kind of stronger as a result. Anyways, it is time for this. This cross is just a million billion times better than like Bobby's cross, just off of cosmetics. Like I love Bobby's strings a lot, but his cross is one of his fatal flaws. And then this one just kind of dunked on that. There we go. Okay, now the last piece we need to connect is the witch itself. Now, since it's so much smaller than Bobby is, uh, it doesn't have a connection on the back of it. So I'm kind of assuming it's just fully suspended in the air by this. Now she has two clips on her shoulders. I'm assuming these attach back here. Now she's properly hanging and there are a bunch more strings coming down from up here, very similar to the way that Bobby has it. Now the strings from the middle of the cross actually go to the knees and then that only leaves the strings at the end for the wrists or um, hands I guess. There we go. Okay that's all the strings. Let me just pull this off and there's one last piece and that's this cord right here. It connects right into the top. Okay there we go and it's screwed on which means that it's waterproof which is something awesome that Spirit needs to do more or do at all for that matter. But I'll get into the comparisons a lot more between her and Bobby Strings in the comparison video. But for now, this is just about this prop. Now, as you can see, there is uh, hardly any more bending issue. It doesn't bend back anymore because the weight of this combined with this just like totally made it bend forward again. Now, this is a prop that is ready to be plugged in and turned on. I don't know what mode it's on because I cannot see any like written modes because it's all built into this cross. It's not formatted how it usually is. It just has a blank. It's just blank. It doesn't have any text. Anyways, let's let's get surprised, I guess. Okay, I'm guessing it's off right now. Let me let me change it. Whoa. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room. It is ununderstandable. You cannot like understand it. It's so, the speaker quality, like this is probably the worst speaker from any animatronic this year, which sucks to say, I mean, this is a hundred bucks and it's about seven feet tall. It's a pretty unique animatronic. But uh, one big drawback, of course, is the audio quality. So I guess you have to be okay with just not being able to understand it. Cause like, even in person, it might sound bad on video, but even in person, it's just like, what the heck is she saying? Something I think is super cool though, on a positive, um, just like any other home 
Home Depot animatronic. She's got a lights only mode and it has lots of lights. The only thing on Bobby's strings is the glowing eyes and it doesn't have a lights on only mode. So that is a big positive and that just kind of is standard for any Home Depot animatronic. So big plus there. But yeah, seeing it in person and standing next to it, I think it's pretty worth it. Like I don't have a lot of complaints other than the audio quality. Cause that's like its only flaw. I can't really think of anything else. Like it's a fun idea. It's a marionette witch. It's got like all these cool features. Like everything's built into this. Um, the, the whole structure is painted like wood. It's got pretty good molds where it looks like it's carved out of wood. And yeah, everything is like good about it. And for a hundred bucks too, except for the audio quality. So like that just, ah! <laughs> let's see it go again. But this time I'm gonna turn off the light. I wanna see these lights better. That's so cool that it's got one like in its hat. Oh, check that out. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> the only thing I understood was the word immortality. So, uh, cool. <laughs> but I'm giving this thing a huge pass because like, since it's $100 and only $100, it's a budget animatronic and isn't expected to be that crazy of quality or like complicated. So I'm just kind of glad that this is an option for people. That's all I have to say.